In this lecture, you're going to learn how you can brute force a WordPress website and check for unsecure or commonly used passwords against the users. Now to do this, you're going to need a password file and you're going to need to use WPSCAN to launch the brute force attack. Now password files can be found all over the internet, but I've prepared a couple of them for you. So the way that you can get it is open your preferred browser and go to itflea.com forward slash hacking forward slash resources. And then we're going to scroll down the page to the bottom. And we can see here we have a list for password files. Now, I also give you commands that you can run straight from Kali Linux to get this. So you don't have to download it here and then transfer it to your VM. You can just run this command right here to download the file. And then you can use this unzip command to unzip the file. So in VirtualBox, I have both VMs powered on. I have my Kali VM on and I have my WordPress VM powered on. So I'm going to open my Kali VM and I'm going to download this file. So I'm going to drag and select this command. I'll choose right click and copy. And then I'll go to my Kali Linux VM. And up here in the top right corner, I'm going to make sure that I'm connected to my NAT adapter. Now mine is using Ethernet 1, so I'm going to connect to Ethernet 1. And then I'm going to open my terminal. And I'll maximize this screen. So now I'm going to right click and paste this command in. If you cannot paste in commands, you need to go under Devices, Shared Clipboard, and choose Bidirectional. This allows you to copy and paste to and from the virtual machine. Press Enter. And we can see the password file has been downloaded. So now if we type in ls and list the contents, we can see password.zip. Now just type in unzip and then type in PASS and press Tab and it will autocomplete for you. Now press Enter. And now we can see that it's created a directory called password files and inside that is two files, one called MySpace and one called passwords. Now let's type in ls again and we can see the directory has been created right here. So let's cd into this directory. Again I'm typing pas and then I'm just pressing tab for auto completion. Press enter. And let's run the ls again. And here we can see the two files. Now these are the two password files that we're going to use to run the brute force attack against the website. Basically this is just line after line of commonly used passwords and insecure passwords. So what we need to do now is switch over to our host only networks. Now for me it's Ethernet 0, for you it could be different. The main test is that when you're connected to your host only network, you should be able to ping the web server. So if I type in ping 192.168.10.10, I should get a response. Okay, so that tells me I'm on the same network or I have access to the web server. And now what we're going to do is use WP scan. So let's type in WP scan, press enter, and we're going to scroll up here to these password attacks. Now, here we have uh, WP scan RB. We do not need to type that, we just need to type in WP scan. And we are going to use the dash URL and the dash world li word list. Now we're not going to specify a number of threads and we're just going to use a username. Number of threads means you can do more than one simultaneous connection. You can try more than one password at one time. We're not going to do that for this example. So we're going to grab the single username admin because we've already done a reconnaissance on this website and we know that there is a user called admin and if you don't remember that I'll just back out and show you. If we run an ls in the, our root directory, we have a file that we created earlier called WP scan usernames. And if we cat this file or concatenate it, we can see that we have one user called username admin. So again, I'm going to go back into the password files directory and we're going to use WP scan and we're going to run it for the username admin. So we're going to drag and select this and we'll click copy. And I'll type in WP scan, and then I'm going to hit right click and paste. So now let's update this information. So we're going to go back to the website, and we're going to backspace this and change it to HTTP colon forward slash forward slash, and then the IP address of our server. And then for the word list, it's either going to be that passwords.txt or MySpace. Let's go with the passwords.txt as that's a smaller file. Now you have to specify the entire path to the file. So if we just press this and hit enter, it's going to say the passwords file.txt does not exist, even though if we run an ls we can see it right there. So what we need to do is type in the entire root to the folder. So that would be our home directory 
forward slash and then password files and then forward slash passwords.txt. This backslash represents a uh, space character. So now let's press enter and see if it begins. So now we can see that the attack has begun. So now it is running the brute force. We can see that we have a total of 2,442 passwords. Now this is only gonna take about 10 seconds and we'll see what happens. Okay, so the attack is completed. It's gone through every password in the file, and unfortunately, it did not come up with the result. Now, you might be wondering why that is. Well, let's take a look at the files. You notice that it was 2,442 passwords, so let's take a look at it. Let's go to nano, and then passwords.txt, and here we can see these are all the passwords that are listed in the document. Now, obviously, the password that matches admin on this website was not in this list, so we need a better password file. So we also have this other file named MySpace. So if we type in nano and MySpace, press enter, we can see that this file is much, much bigger. It has something like 40,000 or 43,000 passwords. Now we're gonna run the brute force attack with this password directory, and it's a much greater chance that we'll have it. So this MySpace.txt contains a lot more passwords, and you can download password file off the internet relatively easily. You just Google uh, password dictionary files and you'll come up with a bunch of results. So there are password files that are used that are gigabytes. Very, very large. The ones that we're using are not that big. But let's try and run this against the myspace.txt as this file is much larger and has a bunch more passwords in it that are commonly used and I think we'll have better luck with. So we're going to change it to myspace.txt, and I'm using the up and down arrow to get that command back in case you were wondering how I did that. There we go. So we have this set to myspace.txt, and now we're going to execute this. Now, this password file is much larger, so it's going to take a little bit longer. It's 37,000 records, or 37,000 lines long, which means it has 37,000 passwords. So we're going to let this complete, and we'll see if the WordPress password is using an unsecure password that's in this list. So here we can see that it actually found a match. And it was the 15,271st password, and the password is loving friends. So what we need to do now is let's try going to the website by typing in http colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.10.10. Then let's go to slash wp admin. And let's use the username admin and type in the password loving friends. And now we've successfully gained access to the dashboard. So from here we could, you know, do any kind of crazy malicious stuff that we'd want. But of course we're not black hat hackers, so we wouldn't do this kind of thing. But that is how you gain access to a WordPress website that has insecure passwords. I hope you enjoyed this lecture. Great job, and I'll see you in the next one.